Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Well, good morning to you. From edamame to tofu, we are getting down to the truth this morning about soy. Krista Arecchia, she's the clinic, uh, clinical rather nutritionist. She's also the founder of The Whole Journey, is here to reveal why you might want to rethink the soy intake. Krista, good morning. Good morning. This is like big stuff because I know a lot of people, including myself, I mean, at one point, it's in our diet. We think that it's good for us. This is mind-blowing stuff to most people when they find out soy is actually not good for you. Okay. Yeah. So what is what is it with, with soy? Soy, how much soy do we have actually in food? Is it in everything? Or? Soy is, it's one of the most subsidized genetically modified crops. So yes, it's creeped its way into every part of our diet pretty much. So it's really important to know where you get it besides the obvious sources, right? It's in even baby formula. What is soy? Soy is it's, it's a plant. It's okay. a bean. It originally comes from Asia, and we've been for years we've we fought that it's such a health food, and it is in Asia because they ferment it. That's the key. If you ferment it, you ferment out naturally occurring toxins. Okay. If you don't ferment it, when you eat it, this stuff over here. Okay. Soy milk tofu, when you eat that stuff, that will cause digestive upset and it blocks the uptake of minerals. So many minerals, but the most important mineral that it blocks is iodine. We have a lot of thyroid issues in this country, hypothyroidism. The thyroid needs iodine to thrive and if it doesn't get enough, it doesn't work properly. That's our, that's our metabolism. The thyroid is responsible for our metabolism. The thyroid is the temperature regulator of the body. So this stuff is not so great well, for it's, you. It's so opposite from like because everybody thinks soy is so healthy and you're yeah. and you're doing better for your for your body by doing that. This is that's why I'm so glad we're here yeah. talking about. This. Okay, it's really so important. We were talking about thyroid. Is there anything else that it can do to our bodies and our yeah, health? Yeah, thank you so okay. much for bringing that up because it can it can imbalance our sex hormones. It has a plant compound called phytoestrogen, and that will imbalance our sex hormones. So this is about two cups of soy right here. Okay, and women who drink for two months, this amount of soy every day, it will alter their menstrual cycle. <gasps> for men, it's gonna knock down testosterone. We necessarily don't want that to happen. So the, this really just not a health food. In my opinion, tofu should be used for paving potholes, not for <laughs> human consumption. Wow, that's a, a big thing to hear if you're gonna eat that stuff. So what, what are some, are these alternatives? Yes, it's, okay. not, it's not all bad. There are certain forms of soy that can actually be good for you. So if they ferment it, it changes the whole structure. Okay. So if you have miso, like in miso soup. Yes, that's good. Yes, that's okay. good. That has probiotics, right? Good for digestion, B vitamins for our nervous system, and so does tempeh. So here's your upgrade to tofu, which is like a veggie burger consistency. You can, whatever you do with a veggie burger, you can do with tempeh. Okay. And then here we have tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. Yes. So these three are acceptable forms of soy. Okay, what, what are these? This is just to show you other alternatives. We've got hemp milk, almond milk, coconut milk, which I know you use that in your coffee. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so these are upgrades where you don't necessarily have to just go without, but there's so many other things that we can consume that actually support the body, right? Food as medicine versus food as a slower form of poison. Okay. And then these are healthier protein powders. If you're going to do a vegan protein powder, do one that's from hemp or brown rice, not soy. You can't even absorb the protein in soy protein powder you can absorb under 60% of it. Krista, I'm so glad that you're back. I've been learning Thanks. so much over the past, oh. I'm sure our friends at home too, it's about fun. food and really taking care of, of our bodies. It took me 34 mm -hmm. years to get on this bus, uh, but that's okay. At least it's, you're on At it, least right? I'm on yes. the bus now. Yes. By the way, if you'd like to get more information uh, about the whole journey and from Krista, go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, click the scene on tab, it'll get you directly hooked up with her. Krista, thank you for being here. Good Thanks, to see Shelley. you. Good to see okay, you Okay, we're gonna take a short break. We will be right back.